Welcome to a special edition of Boost Bernie Business. I'm Kim Blum, your president and CEO of your Greater Bernie Chamber of Commerce. We are honored to be here today with Bernie Radio. We've got Baron, and we have extra special guests here in our boardroom today. We have all of the winners from 2023's Business Award Gala that we just had Saturday, and it was amazing. What do you think, Baron? You were there. I was there. Thank you. I didn't know it was going to be on your show. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, it it's was- our show. Remember, yeah, everything's ours. Well, congratulations to you. Again, Thank you. Phenomenal job. It was flawless. Well, the team did amazing. Um, you know, Steely and Holly just really took it to the next level, and everyone pitched in and yeah. made it absolutely fabulous. So, was it was anything different this year that was special to you? Well, we had the Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. I mean, the pretty deck. killer. Yep. That was a lot of work, to be honest. Yeah. Sinorama did amazing. We had just a great group of sponsors. This year it was a little extra special. We had a nonprofit sponsor. Wow. Uh, the Community Foundation of the Texas Hill Country. So just seeing everyone come out and every year it just gets better and better, honestly. Um, the winners, it's it's personal for me because they're my friends and family and community. So every time it's, I always say I like to watch them, but try not to make it obvious. Um, it's like watching the groom's face when the bride comes down. That's what it feels like. And so I try to look, but not like look. And then I'm just like, okay, now I'm going to stare you down because you're about to get announced. And it's so fun. A year ago, you only had less than a thousand members. Yes. And now we have over, we actually have 1,100 members. So we're going to need a bigger ballroom. Yeah. Something like that. Wow. (laughs) It sold out again, almost a month in advance. So it was like Taylor Swift tickets. Yeah. Something like that. I'm proud of it. (laughs) For us, the the ceremony really is about honoring the business community. So every year we have a chance to select over well, a total of seven award winners. And so I, along with your partnership, wanted to bring them on to Bernie Radio and have them tell us about what it meant to win and give us an opportunity to say thank you. So the gala is kind of fast and furious, as you know, because you're there. And for the listeners listening in, it's just a, a, a beautiful evening of um, good friendships and fellowships of the entire community coming together and just supporting one another. And so when we make the announcement, they come up, they get their award, they get their picture. You'll see a, a video of it sponsored by Florida Bernie. But what you don't get to hear is is their feelings. And so for me, I typically do because afterwards we get to visit with them and um, our board gets to visit with them. But I wanted the listeners in the Bernie community to hear the exceptional people they are when you hear them, you know, open their mouths and talk about the business that they represent and what the award means to them. It's so much more. So we're going to do that today. Well, we're about to hear Rob right now introduce the first category. What's that? The first category is going to be small business of the year. So that is the business with under 50 employees. And here's Rob. Next, we will honor our 2023 business of the year under 50 employees. And there were 16 nominations for this award. So here's a quote from the nomination. It would be difficult to name the amount of team dinners, business dinners, parties, rehearsal dinners, community events, nonprofit fundraisers, and more that they've hosted. They do their best to keep people happy every day. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Business of the Year under 50 employees is Dog and Pony Girl. I am more than honored to welcome Joey Boatwright to the show and with Dog and Pony, who is our small business winner of the year for under 50 employees. Joey, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. So how are you feeling about the award? Really good. Uh, Like I was speechless at first because I mean, I think there were 16 or 17 nominees and it's really cool to see a bunch of nominees. I think more than half of them we've worked with throughout the year. So it's uh, when you know the people that you're up against, it's kind of intimidating. And then it's a big honor to be the one that got selected. Awesome. Well, I don't know if you realize this because in the midst of all the excitement, but you almost had a semi standing ovation. So all of the business leaders, especially the um, restaurant leaders stood up and walked towards you. And so you had this receiving committee Upon coming to me with the award, I was like, okay, guys, he's got to get to me at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah, it seemed like a long walk. Yeah. It, it was a very long walk. I was like, we didn't think this through. Just tell us about what it means for, to be a collaborator and a partner with all those individuals, because that's really what stood out amongst a lot of the nominees. And, you know, you truly are the epitome of a community partner. Yeah, I mean, we first off, we realize we have a pretty big space, so we try to do whatever we can do with the space, whether it's serving beer from the local breweries in town, uh, you know, some of our food products are from local farmers or whatnot. 
and then also supporting the community through, you know, the fundraisers and the football events and the baseball events and all that kind of stuff. So to stand up and shake hands with other community business leaders and get high fives was, I mean, humbling is the only word you can think of yeah. really. It's awesome. And so tell me a little bit about your team. Cause the, it was pretty awesome. Cause I was like, stay and hang out with us. You're like, no, I got to go back to the team and tell them we won. And tell us a little bit about their reaction and their feelings. Uh, they were super excited. I mean, I think a lot of people see what we do during those big events and big concerts and stuff, but not everybody sees the work that goes on behind it. Most of the staff during those large fundraisers and large events, they work minimum 10 to 11 hours the day of, not including all the preparation before. You know, when you do a fajita buffet for 400 people, it's not like you just throw it together real fast, right. you know. Um, and then we usually open for business the very next day. So it's a lot of work, you know. So f to see them get the recognition because it wasn't, you know, just a Joey Boatwright Award. It was dog and pony, and we right. truly are a team and a family. I mean, we only have – I mean, the award's less than 50, but I think we have like 19 employees. Yeah. So sometimes the way we pull things off is pretty crazy. It was it was awesome, and I would agree with that. And for me, it's fun because I remember when you first came to, you know, Dog and Pony, and you had all these visions, and to sit here with you in this, this studio space and talk to you about being a winner, but also to see that a lot of the things that you dreamed and aspired of have come true. And for me, that's exciting because it's fun when someone says, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm like, let's do it. One of the big events that we got to do this past year was with Barron and Bernie Radio, and we brought – a national touring act to Bernie and yep. over 1500 people with the Crowder concert and in the rain. Yeah. In the rain and, and the mud the and, mud and yeah, the cold. Right. Let's not forget rain but, and but cold. But no it's one complained and they had a great time at the dog and pony. You guys delivered. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was Every a great time? community event to that point. Like the stuff that not everybody sees. I mean, our staff pushed like 18 no cars joke. out of the mud that night. <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't know that was on their job description, but, <laughs> you know, but it just goes to show how much they care. And right. And, and really, like, we do the big events like that out of love for the community because, you know, I'll I keep on referring to the staff because they do so much work. Like, those events usually are, like, way more work and way less money for them than just, like, a normal day, you right. know. And, but we just keep on cranking them out, and it's it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, it shows in everything you do. And when the nomination committee came together and came, you know, back with the results, I was more than thrilled to hear that you were the winner because, again, your leadership – your humble style and everything about you embodies the spirit of Bernie. So thank you for bringing all the wonderful things to dog and pony and just supporting us at the chamber and just being a leader here in Bernie, Texas. Yeah, thank y'all. I mean, you look at all the other winners, the seven or eight winners and then the ambassador. I mean, it's a good group of people to be in. And I think that we all push each other, whether we're different industries or different mm -hmm. environments. Like I think the, the community does a good job of like a fun and challenging, like I'm a one up you, but in a very, Cohesive but I'm going to be standing know? next to you when you want up me yeah, yeah, <laughs> and high-fiving yeah. you. Well, thank you. Congratulations again. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Barry. This is the 2023 Business Woman of the Year Award, which recognizes a member businesswoman for the exceptional achievements that she has made and extraordinary commitment to the Bernie business community. There were 13 nominations submitted for the award. What was written about this winner is... She is described as someone with selfless nature and boundless compassion, who is a source of inspiration for us all. Whether it's leading community initiatives, spearheading charitable projects, or simply lending helping hands to those in need, she embodies the true spirit of community service. It is my honor and my privilege to announce the winner of the 2023 Business Woman of the Year Award to the very lovely and amazingly talented, Sonia Aguillon with the GBTC Foundation. Well, this is uh, extra exciting. As you all know, I, I love a good woman in business, and I'm honored to welcome Sonia Aguillon with GBTC Foundation as our Business Woman of the Year for 2023. Welcome, Sonia. Thank you. As we know, as we've kind of talked about, I love watching the winner's faces. And um, it was, I think, extra special, you know, because uh, Paula White, for those of you that don't know, previously was the president of the chamber, and then she went to work for the foundation. And then when she retired, she passed it off to Sonia. So another fabulous businesswoman that we love, but it was extra special in my opinion to have her there and just see the collaboration and again, the standing ovation and 
Um, I don't know if you realize, but when you went one and everyone went up again, all of the community together stood up and clapped and applauded for you. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Tell I us, did not notice. Yeah. That. It, like, it's, it was all a big blur. It's a blur. Yeah. yeah. And it's the things I look for. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best and what I love about what we do. But Sonia, tell us a little bit about what the award meant for you and how excited you are. Well, it was a great honor. I definitely didn't expect it, as no one does, right? But as I sat there, I thought they were reading off nomination summaries of someone else. And so I was like, oh, that's sweet. And so it took a minute to kind of register. And it really didn't register till the very end. Jim, like, nudges me, and he's like, I do believe they're talking about you. And I was like, stop, be quiet. And so... Well, I had made eye contact with him because he was blocking you. Yes. And I really wanted him to move over. But then I think that at that point when I locked eyes with him, he realized, oh, it's Sonia. Because I kind of nodded. Yeah. He nudges me and he's like, Kim's nodding her head. It's you. (laughs) So I was like... Will you hush, please? And so um, it's just a great honor to know and then to read what my peers in the community have said about me. It's just very heartwarming. Um, You know, you do what you do with the passion that you have to help others, and you don't anticipate or expect anything to come from it. But when you read what others think about you and how they, you know, their sentiment, it it is really heartwarming and, and very humbling. But I'm very grateful for those that feel that way and those that I have touched in that manner. I mean, when you're reading the nomination packet, it's, I think there was literally like 32 different events slash organizations that you were supporting just in last year that I think you attended. And it's always funny because people are like, wow, you're everywhere. I'm like, you should see Sonia. She's literally (laughs) everywhere. She can be in New Braunfels and then Bernie in the same minute. Definitely had those days where I've been Gonzalez, New Braunfels, Spring Branch, and then Bernie. So... I wanted just to kind of talk about, you had your team there too. Tell us a little bit about what that means. I have an amazing team. So they, especially our foundation board of directors, they volunteer their time and they step in. They all share a very similar passion of helping others. And so to have some of them sitting there with me, it's not just what I do, it's what we do. And so I always want to credit those that support me, that are always with me, that help me and allow me to be the presence of the community. And so um, thank you to everybody who's ever been a part of everything that we do. I do what I do because of you. Right. That's awesome. Well, it's also funny. Sonia and I go back because um, she started basically when COVID started. I did. In May of 2020. She called me. I was like, do you want to grab lunch? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, really? Because no one wants to go to lunch with me. (laughs) And I was like, don't take it personal. Um, I'm like, I'll always eat food and enjoy good company. And so that was kind of our bond. And then ever since then... um, We've had the luxury of, you know, having Sonia um, not only be a part of a lot what the chamber does and a leader on the nonprofit committee that we host, but um, she was also um, served on the economic impact study for the nonprofit community that the chamber did. So besides all the amazing things that her peers had to say about her, um, she's always the first to kind of answer the call and find the need and fill the void for anybody in any nonprofit and along with just her personal passions and goals. So, Sonia, we just truly love you and adore you and all that you do in this community. Thank you. It's, you know, um, I was raised in a family where we helped others first before we helped ourselves. And so we didn't have a lot, but the little that we had, we always gave back to someone else. And my parents always opened our doors to others that were in need. And so to carry that in my life into adulthood and be able to share that similar passion with others and in an amazing community like Bernie, it's very heartwarming. So that's awesome. Well, I know your family's proud. It was funny because she was texting me. I have to leave the event early. I'm like, well, are you going to stay for dinner? It's really good. You're going to miss dinner. And she's like, no, I'll be here for dinner. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Because (laughs) that morning she's telling me she's not going to be there. And I was like, Steely, what do I do? I'm panicking. I don't want to like ruin, (laughs) ruin it. She's like, we're having delicious dinner. It's going to be amazing. You have to stay for it. (laughs) And she's like, oh, I will. I was like, oh, thank goodness. So um, I didn't have to do anything crazy. But uh, just again, thank you for just always showing up and um, accepting this award with such grace and um, compassion because it's very, very deserving. Well, thank you. I'm, I am humbled by it. And I am um, very grateful for those that take the time to, to share and, and then even after. Right. People are just very generous and very loving and it's very touching. So especially to be in a community that I don't live in. I spend a lot of time in Bernie most of my day, but I don't live here. And if I could, I would. So. Right. 
Well, you you certainly act like you live here because you're here more than you are actually at home. But I think Jim um, feels the same way. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I loved is one of the one you know she was described as um, whether it's leading community initiatives, spearheading charitable projects, or simply lending a helping hand to those in need. She embodies the true spirit of community service, and for me, that's that's the kind of leadership and women we want in our community and to be honored and supported so thank you kim for everything that you do your staff is amazing yes and baron thank you for supporting the bernie community with bernie radio and your team as well okay so now we're on to the 2023 businessman of the year award now this award recognizes a member of businessman for his greatest achievements and exceptional commitment to bernie's business community And someone wrote, this nominee is not only a successful businessman, but also a role model who personifies the core values that make Bernie an exceptional place to live and do business in. He has demonstrated his commitment to supporting the community by being a major donor to over 15 local nonprofits. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Businessman of the Year Award goes to Sean LaVorne, LaVorne Law. We are excited here on Bernie Radio in the Bernie Chamber to invite Sean LaVorne here as our businessman of the year for 2023. Sean, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about what this award meant for you, because that was pretty exciting. I already told y'all, but I love to see the face and the reactions and um, and even of your staff, because I think some of your staff picked up on it first. And you were just talking and chatting and eating and drinking. And then I was like, I don't think he's listening. I had no expectations, right? And there's a couple sentences that are read. And my wife looks at me and she says, that's you. And I said, said, that's not me. And then y'all announced my name. And so, but my team, they're the biggest cheerleaders, right? I think this was on Facebook before the end of my name was read. (laughs) And so my phone was blowing up um, when I walked back to the seat. I, I had three or four messages from my team that weren't That's there. Awesome. So it was it was truly humbling. I told you afterwards, I yeah. just couldn't stop smiling. Yeah, it was awesome. Someone's like, that was like a rowdy smile of Sean. And then, I mean, y'all missed the part, but I love standing next to you, by the way. Thank you as my tall friend next to Rob Weller. I mean, he was like our child basically for the night. I know. <laughs> I, those pictures were great. They were great. They were just top notch. But tell us a little bit about kind of the endeavors and the things that you've kind of overcome recently to be businessman of the year. Like, why is it so important to you? You know, so I've been in Bernie for 18 years yep. and I basically came from law school and I, I hung out my shingle and I was over there uh, at Paul Holocamp spot over on Plant Street. I love it. And now we're in the old El Chaparral building. Love it. And I'm just really blessed. Right. There was a lot of divine intervention that has happened in my life um, to make, to get us where we are. Right. Well, I mean, the feedback from the community alone and, and to know not only do you support the chamber in so many ways, but even recently TBI Warrior, for the difference that you made, what I loved is you donated to them and lifted them kind of up on the platform and got the media for them. But then now they just got another recognition from a large business from Toyota and for me, that's what it's all about, right? It's it's the we are just kind of the pathway to their success, and and I love that about you and, and the team that you lead. Well, um, thank you. Yeah, and that just happened organically. You right. know, I mean, as some people know, I had a TBI back in 2013. I had a, a pretty bad motorcycle accident um, where I was hospitalized for basically three months, and I won't go into all of that, but. From that, I have a special connection with TBI Warrior because they don't just help um, the veterans. Right. They help everyone, right. um, whether you have a TBI or not, honestly. And, and their families. And their families. And so I've created or we, I have this special relationship now with Victor Medina who runs TBI and that's just my boy. Yeah, now, right. Don't you, you know? just love him? When he first came into me, he's like, I don't, you know, I was like, no, you need to go meet this person and that person. And now he's like, everyone's so nice. I was like, yeah, they are because they believe in what you're doing yes. and, and as a community. And so. So I talk to him probably every other day, every day now, you know, yeah. and I didn't know him four months ago. That's awesome. But he's a great person. And right. so, yeah, that's just one, like you said, that's just one example of contributing and, and being a part of this community who has been, had my back. For 18 years. That's awesome. Right. And 
So that's why it meant so much because it was this recognition that says, Hey, you've been a part of this community. You've been a leader in this community. And now the chamber recognizes it. So I, it just means so very Guys, much. The smile, me. like it's very extra right now and I'm loving it. I'm digging <laughs> it. Again, thank you to your, you and your team. Um, again, it was, it's rewarding for us as a community. And again, to hear just kind of the roar of the crowd and the, our 350 closest business friends and at the Cana Ballroom this weekend, just to know that they also validate what you do and the difference that you make. So on behalf of the chamber and the business community, thank you for all that and just generally caring and um, even you get Santa at your place. I mean, that was a rock. And we also had our last after five mixers there. Yeah. Santa was hanging out, man. It, it's such a special place, right? And I couldn't do this without my family. I, have, I come to a peaceful home, my wife and my children. And again, my team. And then you. I mean, you've done so much okay. for the Bernie. It's truly amazing. So Fun. Well, thank you for what you do. Well, thank you thank for being you, here Baron. today, Baron. And just, it's a team effort and let's just keep having fun. Okay. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. All right. Thanks. The 2023 Nonprofit of the Year Award. Okay. Now this award recognizes an organization for its exceptional achievements in building community and enhancing quality of life in Bern. This organization's most significant accomplishments include providing over $190,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors. Their major annual event, raising over $2.1 million for the youth involved, and another event raising $150,000 to go towards scholarships. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Nonprofit of the Year is Kendall County Junior Livestock Association. As always, I'm more than excited to welcome Becca Short here with the Kendall County Junior Livestock Association. And as our nonprofit winner of the year, congratulations, Becca. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So fun. I personally, as you know, have an investment in this with my son showing goats. And so, again, when I heard that you guys won, it was just amazing and so rewarding. And not that you guys are the underdog, but people sometimes just forget about you. They're like, oh, they have sponsors in the community. And and so for me, for you guys to receive this recognition was just beyond exciting, right? We were super excited. What a stacked field of attendees and, and nominations we were we were just overwhelmed by the gratitude and the and like the other previous people have said the information that people wrote about us right I mean we reach out and we touch a lot of people and a lot of kids and and we know that but for people to see that outside of our immediate little ag group right. was, was pretty impressive and we well, were super excited one to validate the work that you do you know sometimes y'all are up there at 4 30 in the morning mm-hmm. making bloody marys for us of course we are. <laughs> to come on down that's our thing and that's your thing and and just to generally support those kids and in, in the community at large tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing and, and kind of what this means for you so for us i mean probably like most other nonprofits and, and other businesses and stuff we work on this 12 months out of the year you know we had a meeting last night wrapping up from this past year's past stock show in january and we're right at 1.9 million on sales for these kids Beautiful. and we've, we're still accepting add-ons so if anybody wants to add on kcjla.org and you can still add on to these kids. This is life-changing for a lot of these kids. Um, this, we have an opportunity to send them to school, to technical school. We've got judging teams that we sent a check last week. We're sending the livestock judging team to uh, Ireland and Scotland. It gives the, me goosebumps right yeah, now. For the, I mean, and, and, beautiful. Out of Bernie, Texas. Yeah. I mean, and, and you think this may not be an opportunity that these kids may never have again. Right. And, and we're going the extra effort. We raise the money. Their wild game dinner, and we're sending them over there. I mean, we scholarship a lot of money. Lots of scholarships are given. Uh, we're sending the core group. They're going to camp. We send the livestock judging teams to different things. It's not just a stock show. Right. There's something going on every day of the week out there. Oh, yeah. And you have the mechanical and the welding and just all the things. Sure. It's, the it's ag- so beyond yeah. the actual animals themselves. It really is. And, and we stepped out of, of our box a little bit this year. We had we realized that we had been blessed the last twelve months with good help and good sponsorships and good sales, and we went to the district show. We went to Fredericksburg, awesome. and we actually helped kids that weren't even in our county. Amazing! Uh, these kids needed some help too, and and that was something that we had an opportunity to do, and we were glad to do it. 
And Baron, that's why I love doing this because these are the things that people don't see, right? You see, oh, they won the award, they they get money, but to hear firsthand the difference that they're making and just not our community, but our region. And that's why it makes me so proud to do this show. I love it. So that we can use our speakers to let everybody know what the great work you're doing. Yes. Thank you. So God bless you. That's awesome. And what's fun is, you know, you're with the Wild Game Dinner. So tell us a little bit about the Wild Game Dinner. Oh, well, we've um, already been getting traction on that. Last week it. I had three emails. What is the date? So we got our website updated. The Wild Game Dinner is truly my full-time unpaid job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lack of a better term. Um, I love it and I, I want to step back year after year and then we have a banner year and I, I love how many people love this event and look forward to it and i'm like i can't step away yet but the good news is is we're bringing up some great help through the ranks and i've got a wonderful team and they these women are game on that's awesome Um, yeah so october 19th it will be the date we'll be there i love it all the food yeah sponsor come on we're already we're already locking them down i love it well um becca i mean just you in general um i know you're here to represent the, the team and the board, but um, what you do for our community in the chamber is just phenomenal. So Thank you. Um, I was thrilled to see you be um, the recipient and to come up and get the award. And again, like most of you, it was funny to see you were stunned. <laughs> um, you yes. didn't realize it was you. I didn't. And Dutch poked me. <laughs> yes, your husband. I looked at him right in the eyes and he's like, yeah. And then he's like, it's you. And I see him like trying to get, help you up and and it's always worse too, especially I'm watching people. I'm like, please don't take a bite of food. Please yeah. don't eat. Please don't yeah. eat. And then boom, don't it's a bite of food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh man. But again, just to, for you to graciously accept it and just you radiate what you guys do there and the selflessness and the support and just a genuine love of our community. So thank you for that. Well, these are my people. Yes. And, and it shows. Yeah. And we, we are a, we're a fun group. We, you know, we argue a lot and we're like brothers and sisters yes. for the most part. I love it. But, uh, it, we're all there for the same, same plan and we, we pull it off every year somehow. Awesome. Well, you and the entire board, congratulations to you guys, because this is very well deserved and the recognition you've, it's been a long time coming. We're super excited and thank you. Thank you to the chamber and to everybody that voted. We really appreciate it. Awesome. Okay. Next up is the 2023 business of the year award, and it's given to a chamber member business for impactful products or services, exceptional achievements, and an exemplary commitment to our community. We're going to give our award for the 2023 Business of the Year over 50 employees. The winner was described as going above and beyond on every task, not just in their business, but in the community. They know you by name and work to grow personal connections. They partner with numerous community business and nonprofits to sponsor major fundraising events, and they are always being recognized at the national level for their work. The 2023 Business of the Year, over 50 employees, winner is Ford of Bernie. Last but not least, we have Ford of Bernie, Martin Den. Welcome, Martin. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. So again, when I told you guys that I loved all the winners this year, it's just every year it gets better and better. And I don't know if it's because... You know, I've been at the chamber longer, and it's just like these are my people, and it's so fun to see them win. Yeah. Um, but again, look at your team's face, and again, it's always humbling, and it, it says a lot about the leader. I feel like is their entire team jumps up, but the actual person who's like receiving it is just like, wait, what? You know, and kind of looks a little lost. So again, your beautiful wife nudged you. Yeah. And, and then Michael <laughs> I had jumped to wake up. Me up. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. And I was like, again, I think you were literally about to take a bite of food, and I was like, please don't do that. Um, uh-huh. You're about to get called to the front. But um, tell us a little bit about you know Fort Bernie and, and what it means because y'all have been now owners. How many years? You know, um, and it means a lot to us, right? So we, we came out in Bernie in 2018. So my business partners, Roland and Melissa Smith, Roland's the president and a majority owner of the company along with Melissa, right? So I'm the minority uh, operating partner for the group. And it all, for us, it all started in Bernie, right? You know, it's overwhelming. I mean, just sitting here talking about it and just kind of replaying everything and what we wanted to do and what's happened so fast with the support from the community, from other leaders in, in the group, our, our vision, it, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm really surprised. I was, I was dumbfounded when I heard certainly uh, humbled because every, every business in that room deserved that award. Every single one of them. They were, they were all gracious to one another. The energy that the chamber brings, 
to its members is second to none. So we're in different communities, right? Um, Bernie being our favorite, there's no doubt about that. But yeah, we're in is. some pretty good communities, right? right. We're out in Fulcher, Sugarland um, area in in Houston. We're we're in we're in Fredericksburg, Texas. We're in Pleasanton. We're in Three Rivers. We're all great communities. But the synergy between the businesses and the leaders within the business is amazing in Bernie. And and the chamber does such a fantastic job in channeling all that energy, yes. putting it in one place and having a celebration for everybody. I feel like, yeah, did Fort Bernie get the award? Absolutely. But I think everybody in that room deserved it. I, I, w- I was surprised when I got it. But the first thing I said was, hey, y'all get up. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. We're all getting it together. It was awesome. So Michael and I went up there, and and uh, it was it was happy when it was time to take pictures. I said, "Come on, crew! Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's in the picture because it's not it's not me." You know, the one thing about Fort of Bernie, and all our and all our dealerships, that the communities that we represent, you know, for us, we're unique. You're not going to find many mm-hmm. dealers um, who don't have their name on the building, right? And we don't because our name is our community. So we we represent our community. That's that's the name on the back of our jersey. That's what I tell our guys every single day. We got tremendous leadership that inspires us to do better, and that's Kim, obviously from the chamber. She brings the energy to these businesses. And that's absolutely amazing. We've got a fantastic city manager, and and you know one of the things that Ben Ben taught me in talking to him a lot, right, at the city is, you know, we talk about trust. We talk about uh, gaining the trust of of one our employees, but then two of our community and those and those others. And he said the two key components to trust is character and competence, right? And character being, you gotta be of good people, right? You gotta stand for, you gotta stand for something or, 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 or it, it's not worth anything, right? And competence, you gotta be really good at what you do and that's kind of like the multiplier of the whole deal. And so when, when, the, when the community trusts us and they come, us and come to us and give us an opportunity to, to earn their business, then we have to have the competence to do that. And the way you build more competence and more confidence is to turn right around and, and, and support the community. So Melissa Smith, um, she's like my firecracker, right? She's like my right hand. My girl. Yeah. <laughs> you want yeah, a party, yeah, you yeah, want yeah. an event plan, you want an after five mixer, hey. you want a state of the city, a state of the school district plan, that girl is gonna and blow it out of the you let, know water. Let me tell you something. She's one of the most um, successful uh, business minds that I have ever, ever met. And her whole world revolves around the youth, in our community, mm-hmm. um, the, the, the teachers who, who, who teach them slash babysit them slash prepare them mm-hmm. for the workforce. And, and that's her deal. That's, that's all she's focused on and how our business can support that. And so in turn, you know, we we're doing what we wanted to do, which was to come to a community outer lying of a, of a big metro um, operate a business based on our community. Cause that's one of the, the strongest pillars. Right. And so, if you have that, if you have the right community and you have the right people that work for you, then it doesn't really what brand you represent. You know, I, I could be, um, I could be a great service shop. I could be, I could be a different brand. Uh, we happen to be uh, one of the best, in my opinion, right? Ford Motor Company, but the community does it all. The, it does it all for us. And I, here again, when the chamber is able to channel all that energy together. And, and we just have a great celebration. It is so fun. And I'm so happy for them. And, and who are you up against? Right. And you look at, it's like, man, I don't know if I really should accept this award <laughs> over these other people, right? You, you, you kind of feel like, well, I don't know if I was as good as, you know, Sonia, right? GVTC Foundation, right? I mean, they set the bar. They, they set it up there, right? And then you got Jefferson Bank, right? Rob's group, right? They, they're, they're, they're up there. So, you know, as a competitor, as a natural born competitor, as a guy that's passionate about being the best, about, about surrounding himself with the best it, that we have in this chamber, you have to match them. Right. I mean, they're they're not slouches when it comes to helping out the community. And so you better bring your A game in that or they're going to make you look bad. And, I, and, and and that's not what we're here to do. I think right? so. Joey Boatwright said he's like, I'm going to one up you. And then we're like, yeah, yeah. Like, go. we're so excited. And yeah. then another person comes around. So yeah, I love that, it. That, that's it. And, you know, and, and here again, I mean, I think I think the field was awesome. And I I, I can't wait to go next year to see. Uh, who wins and 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 give them a big pat on the back and, and slap on the butt and tell them hey congratulations because because they all deserved it they all deserved it for the work they do throughout the throughout the year to keep Bernie what it is the things that were said about you were phenomenal and they didn't even mention the amazing after five mixers these people throw I mean 
Like that is the party of the century. Everyone's like, "Oh, I'm going!" Like we, I'm yeah. like, let's little, little lay low on the invites because like people are gonna show up and it's already kind of crazy over there. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's just like wow. Like it, like you said, it's kind of that that extra bonus of of wow, they deserve it, and it's really really exciting. So congratulations. And, thank you. And thank you for everything that you do, just your service, and yeah. you, you're the epitome of that. And. We're thankful. Thanks, Kim, for, for everything. Thank Thanks all the, the chamber board members, right? I know they, they, they work really hard in laying out the vision and supporting the powerful women in the chamber that bring that energy every single day. So, mm-hmm. love it. We, awesome. we really love it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Florida Bernie. Thanks. <laughs>